Hey, what's up? So I said I was going to make a few packet tracer tutorial videos. This is going to be my first one. We're just going to set up this basic network right here with the goal of having all of these hosts be able to reach this uh, web server over here. So for this we're going to set up static routes between all the routers. We're not going to touch the switches. We're going to leave them default VLAN 1 all the way through, no trunking and we're going to use slash 24 masks for all of our networks so just a little overview of the network here this is going to be the 1.1.1.0 network coming off of router 0 on fast ethernet 00 this here is going to be 3.3.3.0 network and the web server is going to sit in 2.2.2.0 these point to point links here I already have labeled up above so this one here is going to be 4.1.0, this one here 4.2.0, and this one 4.3.0. So with static routes, we're going to need to set up a manually typed in route for every destination network here. So this router, which is going to service the 1.1.1.0 network, is going to need a route on how to get to the 3.3.3.0 network and the 2.2.2.0 network. Also, it's going to need a route on how to reach the 4.3.0 network. These we don't really have to worry about creating a static route for because they are already directly connected. This router already knows how to reach those networks. So we're going to have to do that for that router and the exact same thing for every other router. So this one's going to have to know how to get here, here, and here. And this one is going to need to know how to get to here, here, and here. So let's start configuring. First thing we're going to want to do is make sure our hosts have the correct IP assigned to them. So this host here, we're going to call him Bob. We're going to go into the IP configuration tab on his desktop, and we're going to set his IP to 1.1.1.1. Subnet mask, we're using a slash 24, so that's going to be 255.255.255.0. And his default gateway is going to be router 0, which we're going to assign an IP of 1.1.1.254. Not going to worry about a DNS server for now. Now we're just going to confirm that these other PCs have the correct IPs. This one's going to be dot two. Default gateway is correct. Mask is right. Sandra down here in the three dot three dot three. Yep, dot one. Correct mask. Correct default gateway. And our web server. Yep, it's good. So we're going to move on to the router configuration, and I'm just going to pull up some port labels here so we can always see them. Okay, so router zero here. No, enable configure terminal. We're going to go into interface fast ethernet zero zero, which is our uh, LAN interface. Default gateway for the hosts in this network. We're going to give it the IP address of 1.1.1.254 to match what we configured on the hosts. And a subnet mask 255.255.255.0 slash 24. No, shut that, bring the interface up, and continue on to interface serial 0 0.3, or 0 slash 3 slash 0. This is the link between router 0 and router 1. We're going to give that the IP of 4.1.0.1 with a slash 24 mask. Now, you wouldn't do this on a real router, because this wastes a shitload of IPs. Last interface we'll configure is 0, whoop, 3, 1. This is the link to router 2, which will service the 3.3.3.0 network. Give that an IP address of 4.2.0.1. Slash 24 mask, no shut. Now all of the interfaces are configured on router 0. Next is to set up IP routing. So how we configure static routes, we type in IP route, and it's going to ask for a destination prefix. So we're going to type in the route to the 3.3.3.0 network. 3.3.3.0. Next it's going to ask us for destination prefix mask, slash 24. Type that in. And last it's going to ask us either a forwarding route or IP address or a interface to send it out of. With serial links, typically you just configure the interface because it's point-to-point. 
this was an Ethernet link, you might want to go ahead and put in the uh, next hops IP. So on this router, I'm going to do interfaces. On the other two routers, I'm just going to use next hop IP. So this one, the route to 3.3.3.0 is going to be out of serial 031. So that what that's telling it to do is when that router <coughs> excuse me, when this router gets a packet destined for the 3.3.3.0 network, it's going to send it out of this interface this way. And this router is going to already have this network directly connected, so it's going to know where to send that information. All right, next let's do the IP route for the 2.2.2.0 network. Same slash 24 mask, but we're going to send this out of serial 030, pointing towards router 1. Last route is going to be for the 4.3.0 network. And we're going to send this one out of serial 030. We'll send that to router 2 to deal with. Okay, so the configuration of router 0 is done. Let's move on to router 2. I'm sorry, router 1. I should probably relabel these. I don't think I've been referring to the right router. So we're going to configure fast ethernet 00 with the default gateway IP of 2.2.2.254. Another shut. Move on to serial 030, which is the link to router 0. IP address of 4.1.0.2. We already used dot one on router 0. No shut. We see that link come up in our network. The last, serial 031. Give that the IP address of 4.3.0.1. Shut. That link won't come up because we haven't configured router 2 yet. Which I'm sorry for referring to this router as router 2. Router 2 is actually the bottom router and this is the right router, router 1. So now for IP routes, we're going to route to the 1.1.1.0 network with a mask slash 24. And we're going to use the next hop IP this time, which is going to be 4.1.0.1, the interface of on router 0. Next route is to 3.3.3.0. Next hop IP for that is going to be 4.3.0.2, which we will configure on router 2 right after this. Last network we need a route to is the 4.2.0.0 network. And we're going to use router zero's interface as the next hop address, 4.1.0.1. Do right. So router two, or sorry, shit, I did it again. Router one is done. Lastly, whoa, router two, bottom router. Configure terminal, start with the LAN interface, zero, zero. Give that the IP address. 3.0.3.254. No shut, see it come up. Move on to the interface serial 030, the link to router 0. Do that the IP address of 4.2.0.2. Dot one is taken by router 0. And no shut, see it come up. Lastly, interface 031 that the IP address of 4.3.0.2 dot one being taken by router uh, one yeah. and this shit just got in my way and now that links up so the last thing we need to do is configure our IP routes for this router for the 1.1.1.0 network 
and we'll use the next hop IP of 4.2.0.1, which is router zero's interface. You do the route to 2.2.2.0 slash 24 mask. We're going to go ahead and use the interface designator for this one just because I want to. And the last network we need to route to is the 4.1.0.0 network. And we're going to put this one out of. We'll give it an XOP IP. 4.2.0.1 router zeros interface. Do right. Now let's see if we can ping between the routers. I'm going to ping from here router 2 to router 1. .1. All right, that was successful. That would have automatically been successful though, because this is a directly connected network. It already knows the route to there, and router zero also knows the route back. So that doesn't really prove anything with our routes. So we're going to go ahead and ping the interface of router one between router one and router zero. So 4.1.0.2, and that's successful. So that route works. Route to the 4.1.0 network. It's good. We're going to try to ping some hosts from here. 1.1.1.1. Uh oh. Yep, oh, there we go. So that took a little bit longer because router 0 had to send out an ARP request to get 1.1.1.1's MAC address. And the switch had to populate its CAM table. There we go. 2.2.2.2. No, that's not actually an IP. Cancel that. Control Shift 6 cancels a in progress ping on a router by the way. Um, in real life that does not work through a telnet connection at least by default. Alright we can get there which that was also a directly connected network so that didn't really prove anything. Wait no never mind that wasn't directly connected I thought it was on. Fuck I'm starting to get drunk. So uh, we don't need to ping 3.303 so the goal of this was set up connectivity between all these hosts and this web server. So we're going to go ahead and go to the hosts. And I'm going to go ahead and enable the web service if it's not already enabled. Go to HTTP here. Oh, yep, it's on. This is going to have a default Cisco Packet Tracer web page. We're just going to type in the address of the web server, which is 2.2.2.1. Boom, works. Boom. And obviously this one's going to work. Boom. Alright, so that is how you set up a basic network in Packet Tracer with static routes. I think in the next video we're going to expand on this and uh, probably going to segment a switch into VLANs, set up sub interfaces on the router, and after that, I don't know, OSPF on these routers instead of static. We'll see. Uh, I do realize that all of my Ooh, that was cool. All of my IPs that I put for the hosts, I realize that they are wrong. I think these two are the only ones that were right. This is 3.3.3.1 and 2.2.2.1. So yeah, that's cool. Maybe I won't be as intoxicated next time. But hopefully you learned a little bit of something from this video. Thanks.